hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Fade Kemi if this is your first time here you are very welcome hit the subscribe button below yep it's subscribing is absolutely free no charges <laughs> and my notification gang was popping welcome back <laughs> so today is a story time post y'all know i always bring story times for you guys because you know you guys are my g's <laughs> i saw this particular picture on instagram about two um coppers that's nyc guys who went for nyc and refused to wear trouser and <laughs> um, they sewed their their khaki into skirts something like that and i was just like people are still doing this in 2019 so today i'm here to share why i stopped wearing trouser bam, 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 bam. Okay, so many people, I'm sure when you guys got this notification, you're like, Fadi Kemi doesn't wear trousers, really? Well, let's get to the story, okay? In 300 level, thereabouts, that's when I started taking my faith seriously. I remember that um, I joined a fellowship in school. You know school fellowships, how they are. It's usually rules, rules. There was this unspoken, I went, I attended a fellowship where people actually wore trousers. To be honest, people wore trousers. But then Eskos didn't wear trousers and that's the female escorts that is they didn't wear trousers so it was an unspoken thing it wasn't like there like unlike some other fellowships like we know some fellowships of some denomination like some churches you guys know the churches okay i don't need to mention their names that they do not wear trousers even till now even now as i speak they don't wear trousers in their church they tie their scarf to church all this kind of stuff so yes yeah, some fellowships were like outrightly like that but then in my own fellowship it wasn't like outrightly okay don't wear trousers but it was just like unspoken like you see the escorts the female escorts not wearing trousers but like some members were wearing trousers the people that were committed you see them when they're coming for fellowship maybe they wear trousers to class but then when they're coming for fellowship they won't they will go and change to skirt you know it was just like unspoken rule it wasn't there like in my own particular fellowship but i remember that when after 300 level when i started taking my face seriously when i got to 400 level i threw away all my trousers yeah guys i did not wear trousers like i just i was like okay i i was like i was trying to please god like of obviously i do not know what i knew now about god you know foundation is really really important because then i was trying to please god i was like if it's trousers that will not allow me to go to heaven please oh, let me know where <laughs> i feel ridiculous saying this now yeah but yeah i used to say then i say ah, if it's trousers that will not allow me to go to heaven let me know where oh. if it's makeup that will not allow me to go to heaven let me not do oh. if it's dress okay i used to wear jewelry i but not like i need to wear serious jewelry then i got to a point where i didn't even feel like earring again so i stopped wearing earrings guys <laughs> yeah i did but like i remember it was to the extent that the reason why i stopped wearing earring wasn't actually a spiritual thing but like i just stopped because i was just like my father now went to the market one day and bought me earring guys <laughs> funny story and he brought it and i was like oh i bought you this earring stop start wearing earrings <laughs> okay anyway let's get back to the gist the fact is i do not have knowledge and a lot of people who do this who don't wear trousers thing they don't have knowledge i'm telling you the fact because of the mindset that because of a faulty mindset of heaven because you feel that heaven is something that you earn heaven is something that you go to after having a good behavior or wearing a particular nice clothes no okay i had to like unlearn that now but like then that was my mindset for real this is like five six years ago yes that i had this kind of mindset that oh if it's trousers that will hinder me from going to heaven let me know where trousers so i do not wear trousers throughout my final year guys to the extent that even in our final like you know usually on the final the day that you write your final paper people usually wear white top and jeans i did not wear trousers that day i wore white top and black skirts oh serious girl <laughs> And then i was now i was not advocating to people like telling people that oh i, I want to make skirts and dresses fashionable i had all sorts of mindsets in my head and i thought i was pleasing god you know many people do this from the place of oh i want to please god god pleased himself by making jesus die because we couldn't do it do you know do you guys get it the way you please god is by believing in him and working with the spirit of god now if you have a personal um, encounter with god maybe you're praying or whatever and the holy spirit gives you direction that okay don't wear this particular thing because maybe for you it's an idol 
that is absolutely acceptable but the problem is a lot of people now use that as a standard for the people that you know look up to them or whatever for example i lead a group of young women and imagine if i now say actually it always rubs off if you see anybody that is leading a particular group, whatever the person is doing is what the followers will do which is not supposed to be that the standard of of the church in general should be the scriptures what does the scripture say so let's even go to the scripture scripture says in deuteronomy 22 verse 5 man should not wear what belongs to women that is the only scripture where people used to judge that people should not wear trousers mind you when that scripture was written people weren't even wearing trousers men and women were wearing robes guys they weren't wearing trousers or anything if you go to scotland men wear skirts so all those things are cultural issues that's number one number two the children was not even written to you they were written to israel they were laws of moses okay they are not laws for the believers okay a lot of things in that in that thing the same people who say that they are following the Deuteronomy 22 verse 5 are the same people who will tell you to shave your beard because they don't want you to look somehow but that same Deuteronomy has laws about sh not shaving rounding the corners of your beard not joining two materials together yeah those are cultural laws majorly so don't get it twisted okay and that set of people the ones that quote when Paul was saying that women should not you know dress to the adorning of the body and to the plating of hair fam what paul was saying was that you should not make that your identity make your identity one that is of christ and he was even talking he was speaking to wives note that <laughs> so why people quote these scriptures as a reason not to wear trousers, and not to wear jewelry i'm just like do you even understand what christianity really is do you understand are you sure you understand a lot of people some people even use um the same current like the letter to the corinthian where paul said oh i do not allow women preach i do not allow women speak speak is the word that spoke that is used in that particular verse then they will say ah women shouldn't preach I did a teaching in my group about should women preach and a lot of people were liberated okay let me tell you women men everybody's allowed to preach everybody's allowed to speak of the gospel preach of the gospel all over scriptures is there women preached okay the first prophetess was miriam moses's moses's moses sister you get it moses sister deborah was a prophetess who sat do you know what it means she was not just a prophet she was a judge of israel okay so be not deceived okay the bible a lot of people make it look like the bible is misogynistic in the sense of the bible doesn't like women paul doesn't like women no you have a faulty understanding of what the scripture is actually saying you actually have a wrong teacher a wrong pastor they are teaching you wrongly that's why you believe those lies against women in the scripture okay god loves women god loves men god doesn't even care what you wear doesn't even add to your holiness okay anyway back to my story so i stopped wearing child for the whole of 400 level in fact there was a particular time when we did you know final year week where you wear different clothes you wear native you wear old school there was a time we did jean day fam i wore pop socks bum short jean and shed jean i was just like anytime i look at that picture i'm just like fam what were you thinking you wear leggings some some ladies wear leggings some ladies wear tights under their skirts and they believe they are not wearing trousers <sighs> anyway yeah if I, so after final year i went for nyc in my nyc year i obviously watch out me I, do, I obviously know i was not going to be arguing those kind of my father would even kill me if i start saying i'm not wearing nyc trousers because eh? <laughs> so yes i watch out for nyc camp obviously but then after that i didn't i didn't wear trousers because i didn't even have trousers because i'd given up all my trousers actually and i had one leggings i had one leggings that and i used to wear like long top and like long tops or gowns on top of it and it was like i don't wear trousers or i only wear because the gown is long just ridiculous things that people say i said it <laughs> that's why it's funny anyway yeah so i i in, in when my nyc year something that happened one day i don't know i, I should have bought a jean trouser okay my nyc year, i actually started attending house on the rock in Abel Kuta then because I served in Ogun so there I started like hearing the word you know you start reorientation started coming reorientation started coming and then one day I think I went home and I saw a particular trouser that I used to wear and it was just like memories came back and I just sat down and asked myself Fadikem what are you doing trouser is my sin stop deceiving yourself 
and I think I started foundation class also in House on the Rock. So everything just like I don't know. I think I just had I, I don't even know the actual moment where I had that moment, but yeah, I had that moment. And by the next time I watched Charles when I was going out, and it was like, You're yeah, back to Charles. I was like, Yeah, Charles is not a scene, I'm liberated. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's how I became liberated and I started wearing trousers again. As I said before, for some people, it's a case of they had idolized these things before they became saved or whatever. So for them, they need that renewal, like, okay, put away all these things for a while. But those things do not make you make heaven. What makes you make heaven? If you're a believer, if you're saved, you are saved. You have the Holy Spirit in you. And the scriptures tell us in Ephesians that the Holy Spirit is an, is the earnest of our salvation. The word earnest there means like deposit. So the Holy Spirit in you is proof that you're going to heaven. It's proof that the Father is in you. Like he gave you his spirit. He himself is inside of you. And you think you're going to go to hell. You are scared. If you are scared as a believer of whether you're going to, you have some believers, are you going to heaven or hell? Say, ah, we don't know, you know this race. It's a race of whoever races to the finish. What's the difference between you and a non-believer? There's no difference. If you are scared, if you make heaven or hell, the unbeliever is scared. If you make heaven or hell, what's the point? We should all then be unbelievers. There's no point. <laughs> so yes, heaven is our inheritance. Like, the Father is our inheritance. That's, we are in him. He is in us. We don't have any problem. Okay? your clothes your jewelry your wig whatever you're wearing actually has no issue okay yes i just wanted to share that because i had that experience and i just see a lot of sisters who are in bondage and i'm just like man if your church is still one of those churches well if you're still going to that church you might want to just be following their rules but personally nah don't put yourself in bondage thank you guys so much for watching please remember to subscribe like and share and i'll see you guys in my next video